Hi, I'm Elke Valovirta. This one is about Zura's Duality Plus Dual Overdrive. It's already on my board because it's... I'm so excited. I, I can't check it out. I, I, I need to play. Anyway, let's watch the video. Rock and roll. Yeah, let's check this out. The signal chain. The one I had on the last video, it's exactly like that. The pedal is, is new. So one of my signature ESPs, Japan Custom Shops with EMG8185. Then into the pedal board, from the pedal board to KG Audio Amp Electronics. Amp Electronics, Audio Electronics Switcher. Then the amps, they're all on, same as on the last time. 1987 Explexi, Jason 2000 GSL 5150, Jason Maynard 2203X. Back to KHE, then into my Marshall Vintage cabinet with Marshall Vintage speaker, mic'd with Sennheiser E906 and MD421. Into warm audio, mic preamp, into logic. That's it. So let's start with the 800. Uh, nothing on. <laughs> I have the legendary Jones Lynch mod in there, but uh, I backed the gain like it's like on six, so it's not really. I'm not really adding gain. I'm just adding more everything, so the amp becomes a bit more. I don't know, alive, flexible. You know, the bass is seven, treble is new, so there's just more everything if I would like to have. Cool. All right. I gotta first. I gotta say that. The Zuda Triax, I thought that that's like wow, but this Duality Plus, this Fredman edition, <sighs> oh boy, well, you, you'll hear. So, what I have now is the, let's go through it. So, there's uh, two overdrives in one Vintage, which is a bit smoother, fuller, a bit darker, then the Modern, which you can go from uh, kind of stoner, really fat to a really kind of genty, lots of low cut, mid boost, top boost, the, the plus and minus. So there's one, two, three, four, four, six different modes. The, the EQ curves kind of, kind of changes. Then there's a tone control drive, the master volume level, what usually in overdrives, that's, you know, both have it at the gate. Again, fantastic gate. How genius is that? Why no one has, you know, put a gate like really, really good gate on an overdrive pedal before. I don't know, but this gate is great. So let, let me hook this on and I set it to quite a match SD1. Listen. <laughs> Like, there's SD1. <laughs> How cool is that? And then let me show you what happens when they dial the shank. It's really genty. There, it's pretty much like this. And I said it pretty similar than my SD. Well, the, 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 this has more boost. Drive is about the, about the you know similar amount and the tone a little bit past noon. 
Great! Then the vintage mode. Check out the gate. Wow! And until nine o'clock, it's not. It's bypassed. After nine, it starts to affect. But I, I'm having so much time now that. There you go. So the modern is just more modern. <laughs> Great. Then clean channel JSN two thousand GSL. Let's add the let's start with the vintage. Absolutely great, kind of 808 2 Screamer style drive, this one. Then let's change to modern, let's put it to here on the full, let's pat the drive. Drive zero. Check the gate, it only turns on when I stop, really stop playing. It doesn't cut the, the tails like many not so good gates does. Let's cut the lows a bit more. Become a little bit more open. This is actually really good, it's the third position. Let's add more drive. Completely clean channel. This is now pretty much like a plexi. Where we can move into plexi. So now it's not 1987X. Okay, let's turn this to vintage mode and let's add a bit more, you know.
It's great, really inspiring to play. All right, well, yeah, that's it. Well, let's try the modern with this. <laughs> and suddenly, Plex becomes a high gain <laughs> I know what I'm gonna do. M most cut. Then side gate. Conclusion. One overdrive to rule them all. Yes, and not just one, but two overdrives. And it, it's the only pedal, at least what I tried, and I tried a few, that does the SD1. Let's put the 800, I, I can't believe it. Okay, the SD1. <laughs>
can't be done. Big Dada SD1. <laughs> so, yeah, this one will stay on my board. But so does the SD1, because I've used that since early 90s, and I guess I'm not quite ready to accept the fact that the duality is actually there's SD1, a lot more, noise gate, windy style overdrive. This is also re box. So the line in, you know, this is a design together with uh, Frederick Nordstrom, the studio Fredman owner. And it's also a, a re box. I haven't tried it yet, because I have radial re box there, but I will try it just out of curiosity at some point. I don't do reamping that much, only when I mix other bands, if they've sent me just DIs, many times people want me to reamp with my amps and dial the sounds to fit their, the, the mix the best. I will try it, <clears throat> then, then next time I'll have that occasion. Yeah, so, two overdrives, absolutely fantastic, absolutely fantastic noise gate, and a reamp box. What more, more could you ask? Uh, what more could you ask from an overdrive? <sighs> Can't think of any. <laughs> oh yeah, of, of course, blah blah blah, whatever. But strong, strong, strong recommendation. Wow, great work, Baskim. You know, Baskim Zuda, the, the guy, Swedish company. I'll put links to their website in the description below. Check this out. I mean. This is the only pedal you need, overdrive pedal, at least what I need. But I need to have the yellow one there too, you know, just to make me feel comfortable. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching, all the best, bye.